All set. This morning we're heading to Dunhauer Castle with my dad. He's gonna be joining us for the day. Stressful highway driving. <laughs> we made it. We're here. We're not the only ones with this idea. We're not the only ones. part of the castle so we'll have to watch that we don't miss it. Dad just spotted a whole bunch of sheep over on the box and behind us there. So we're gonna we're gonna get a shot of them. Well, that's crazy. They're just out on the cliff. I hope there's fences so that they don't just like there's no fence. There is no fence. I don't see a fence. So if we see like a little white blob in the water it's probably a sheep going for a swim. <laughs> Sunrise was amazing. We're gonna go see what this tower thing is over there. So they installed these like plaques all around it. People don't recommend traveling to Scotland in the winter. However, Cadzos. we're here to prove that it's quite nice. Winter is great. Just, just prepare, like just be prepared to be cold and <laughs> rainy, but it's not that cold. It's not rain. It's, it's not as cold as uh, Nova Scotia is right now. What, what did you say? Brave. <laughs> it's from Brave. So is, did they film a lot here? No, it's a cartoon. No, it's a cartoon. So yeah. They, they drew the castle. Oh, the right. Hatter Castle right. is inspired but, um, and drawn. Hamlet of Mel Gibson was made here. Was it? Okay. Yeah. And Daniel Radcliffe and James McAvoy made Victor Frankenstein here as well. Oh, wow. We just found out that the Hatter Castle is actually the inspiration and was drawn uh, for Brave, like the Disney movie Brave with Merida. It's one of my favorite movies. So it's half price this winter, only four pound each to get in. Kept a pet lion in there. <laughs> Why did he need windows? Like I said. I'm in a castle. <laughs> Currently in the kitchen. I need to send the back drinking water they make beer out of it because you can only drink beer and I'm sure like wash the clothes and stuff too I guess like, they're swimming it and whatever but it says on the sign there that there's they, it. they found some cannonballs and stuff it's about seven meters deep I think it's just rainwater this is the Earl's bedroom the boss boss, boss of Don Otter 
Come see Best the view. views. Oh yeah. Yeah. So well that's one view. Come watch. Dolphins apparently. There's like dolphins that you can sit here and watch, but we've not seen any yet. Um, seals and like birds and stuff too. Lots of ghosts here. There's quite a few different sightings. That kind of looks like a, a bath or something though. Yeah. What is it? I think there's like a fire pit in the middle. That was so much fun. That was amazing. Totally right so, so coming. cool. So basically, one of the questions we had was, why did it kind of go to ruin? And it was due to the Jacobite uprising. Um, basically, the Earl had sided with the Jacobites, and then, so that wasn't okay. He got kicked out, and eventually the king, or I think it was the king, sent uh, folks up from England to strip the place completely. And yeah, then it kind of just, they just didn't want it to be used as a castle again. So years and years and years and years later, people like us get to come oh. here and be fascinated by the history that it has. It was also built sometime in the 1300s. Yeah, and it was added on to immensely since then. We just took a little drive up the coast, about an hour, and we're checking out another castle. It's called Slane's Castle. And it's another ruin similar to Dunodder. That's rain! Look at that rain! Wow, wow, we were. King in the castle, king in the castle. This is Slane's Castle. It was built in 1597 and basically owned by the Earls of Errol who reigned over this area or like had control over this area. It's quite well known to have hosted a lot of royalty and celebrities including Bram Stoker and they say that it might have been inspiration for uh, the Dracula castle which is pretty cool. It was purchased by a Oh, I forget his name, but he was secretly one of the richest men um, in all of Britain at the time. Uh, and I think it's John Fleming. I'll look that up. Felling? Anyways, he bought it in 1919. He was super rich, yet he didn't want to pay tax on it, so he took the roof off and it was in ruins by 1925. Oh, this is wild. I can't believe this is just left here. So cool. <laughs> look at this. Come over here. And like a lot of the staircases are like half built up, but then stop. And then if you follow me this way, you'll see my beautiful extension. I put it in just to host dogs. <laughs> this is the dog's quarters. No cats allowed. We do like cats, but the dogs don't. Wish me luck. I'm not going in there. I'm gonna go down this cave. <laughs> oh, I don't know what this is. Like a, a tomb? I have no idea. No. That's scary. That's so scary. Wow, man. Woo. This is so cool. This like, is very dangerous. It's so windy and I'm like nervous. No, you're not gonna, it's not that bad. Come on. Oh my god, this is terrifying. It's the no railings and then like the slanted steps, like the wedge steps. Yeah, and the wind. <gasps> and then I just keep thinking, what if this collapses? Oh my. <clears throat> no, I'm good. You don't want to see? I mean, yeah, I can see. 10 out of 10, coolest place ever. Scariest place for Skylar. I mean, not actually. I'm not like the most scared. I definitely, I think it's the wind that makes me feel unbalanced. Considering like yesterday when we were hiking, I literally got like blown over by the wind. So if I get blown over by the wind here, I'm not okay. Oh, oh <laughs> I was wondering, see all the pigs? Yeah. I don't know what all they are. Those would be other floors. No? Other floors. Yeah, but look how close they are to each other. Oh. Yeah, there's pigs. You know, the wooden pigs. Huh. See them all there, they were, look, look there. So 
happy. Happy. Happy, happy. The only thing that would make me happier is if we saw d uh, dolphins again. Keeping my eye out. <laughs> Just seen about 20 dolphins go by. This day has been amazing. So pretty, but also so weird. <laughs> Look at this. That's so nice. One of our last stops today is a viaduct. It's called Den Fenella Viaduct. It's all overgrown. And there's also a little waterfall over here, which you can kind of see through the trees. Pretty cool spot, but it's getting dark. I think we're gonna head home. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. See you later.